Viewers, this is Jason W. Chan, and this is Jason W. Chan's take. Today's story comes to us from France. I believe I actually talked about this woman before, the Honorable Nun, who caught COVID a couple of years ago and survived, and now, tragically, she has died. World's oldest known person, French nun Lucille Randon, or Randon in French, dies at age 118. Sister Andre was born in 1904 and survived an outbreak of COVID-19 in 2021 in her nursing home that killed 10 other residents. The world's oldest known person, French nun Lucille Randon, has died age 118 a spokesperson has said. Rondon, known as Sister André, was born in southern France on February 11, 1904, when the First World War was still a decade away. She died in her sleep at her nursing home in Toulon, spokesperson David Tavella said on Tuesday. There is great sadness, but it was her desire to join her beloved brother. For her, it's a liberation. Tavella of the St. Catherine Laboure's nursing home told AFP. The sister was long feted as the oldest European before the, the death of Japan's Kane Tanaka, age 119 last year, left her the longest lived person on earth. Rondon was born in the year New York, opened its first subway, and when the Tour de France had only been staged once. She worked as a governor and tutor before entering a convent in 1944, aged 40. She had been in nursing home since 1979 and in the Toulon home since 2009. In 2021, she survived a bout of COVID-19 after the virus swept through the nursing home where she lived, killing 10 other residents. Wow. At the time, she told the Var Matin newspaper, I didn't even realize I had it. Tavella told the newspaper that the nun had shown no fear of the virus. Well, I suppose you wouldn't be, since you're already that old. You have accepted that death would come at any time to take you away. Well, look at her there. Although, but I gotta say, this picture doesn't look very good, and she looks like she's in pain. Maybe she's just praying, I'm not sure. But it looks like a nice, clean, albeit Spartan room, but I, I suppose that's all you need. She didn't ask me about her health, but about her routine. She wanted to know, for example, if the meal and bedtimes were going to change. She showed no fear of the illness. In fact, she was more worried about the other residents, Tavella said. Asked if she was scared to have COVID, the nun told Frances, BFM television. No, I wasn't scared because I wasn't scared to die. I'm happy to be with you, but I would wish to be somewhere else. Join my big brother and my grandfather and my grandmother. In 2020, Rondon told French radio she had no idea how she had lived so long. I have no idea what the secret is. Only God can answer that question, she said. I've had plenty of unhappiness in life, and during the 1914 to 1918 war, when I was a child, I suffered like everyone else. There you go, huh? There we are, a life, very long life, a life well lived, a life lived with God. And of course, she suffered, as she said, you know, but who doesn't? I mean, that's the only way we can learn to grow, is to suffer. How about you guys? Would you guys like to live to be as old as this honorable, dear French nun, Cesar Andre or Lucille Rondon? I don't know if I would. I'm 35 this year. I think my life is pretty much halfway over. I think I'd only want to live until maybe another 70, until the age 70 or mid 70s or so. Because my body is already kind of breaking down. I have some sort of condition where my muscles stiffen really easily. So I can't really type too long or sit in front of a computer for too long. It's in my wrists. It's in my 
neck and shoulders, it's in my back. Anyway, but if that condition can be cured or at least managed better, I mean, I'm managing it okay now, but uh, I could be better. If it can, then I wouldn't mind living maybe a bit longer. But to live past 100 when things start to fail, like your eyesight and hearing and all that, it may not be very fun. I might be blind by the time I get to 100. Anyway, I would like to live for that long, but only if the same quality of life will be maintained. If not, then I'd rather just pass away and go to heaven, a place that I truly believe exists. And I believe that this is only a temporary place here on Earth. The real, the real life is on the other side. Anyway, what do you guys think? Leave your comments below. This has been Jason W. Chan's take. And as usual, keep pursuing your dreams and passions.